Okay, adding PLA as a custom material in your Fusion library is pretty simple. You basically just are going to take a material and duplicate it and then rename it and put it in your favorites so that it will be there. So there is a instruction document and you can even modify the cost of what it is um, based on your purchase cost in your classroom. Um, when I was buying from Maker Gear, $35 a kilogram. This coming year, I'll probably chug that down a little bit because I'm able to buy filament from um, Amazon. But uh, you're just going to fill out all of these tabs and then, of course, make sure you save it. So I'll get you started into that. Let's see how and what that looks like. Okay, so I've got my Fusion open, and let's say I want to modify this and make this out of PLA. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into Manage Materials. Okay, and of course if I look in plastic, I'm not going to see it. Um, I did add ABS to my favorites. So if I go into ABS here, if I click that, I can duplicate that. That was a right click on ABS plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. It's in my favorites. And then I'm going to rename that as PLA. And now I, when I come over on that item here in the properties for the names, now I'm going to go ahead and go poly lactic acid. Okay, and then of course the big thing that I need to do with this is um, fill out all those physical materials and then make sure it gets saved. Okay, but really um, in order to save it once you're done, we'll click apply. Okay, and I'm not going to show the video going through every little step, but we'll want to go to the, the physical tab and expand and put the correct materials properties in for the polylactic acid. Okay, so that should help.